Hello! Today I have to go out and put some more minerals in the mineral feeders for goats and sheep and so I thought it may be a good opportunity for me to show you some different types of mineral dispensers or mineral feeders that work well for goats and sheep. Come along. So when putting out minerals for goats and sheep you can just put out like a, a salt block or a hard mineral block. One problem with that is that uh, they're going to use their teeth to try to scrape that mineral off and a lot of times it'll cause premature wear on their teeth. So putting out just a, a regular plain white salt block for sheep or putting out even a trace mineral block for goats uh, is, is fine to do but they probably are going to have a little teeth wear. And so a better option is to use loose minerals, which a lot of mineral companies make loose minerals specific for goats and specific for sheep. The problem with loose minerals is putting them out in the elements. If you just fill this up with a loose mineral, the first time it rains, it just turns to, it turns to mush and, and, and it dissolves. So you have to have some type of a dispenser, some type of feeder that's weatherproof, particularly if you're putting it out in the elements. And so I'll give you a couple of ideas. One has to do with putting, them, putting loose minerals out in the pasture, and the other has to do with putting loose minerals when you have a covered area such as a barn. So they make loose mineral feeders. Most of them are for cattle, but they'll work for goats and sheep as well. Usually they're a plastic tub of some type with a, a rubber flap over it that the, the animals can stick their nose under and pull it up. And then inside are bins that have the loose mineral in it. You can buy them or you can make one. This one is just made out of treated two bys and uh, with an old rubber mat fastened to the top to act as a flap. And it's got a couple of bins in it. Some people put a lot of different types of free choice minerals out for it. I just put a, uh, a combo loose mineral and then some plain salt in here. And I'll let you look and see how this is built. So far, it seems to be working pretty good. I made this one so that it can be moved from paddock to paddock. If I move the animals over to a different field, I can just hook a chain to this and drag it behind a four-wheeler. And so you see it's just a, a rubber mat. And uh, you have two different bins in there, one for salt and one for a, uh, a sheep mineral and uh, it's pretty convenient pretty cheap to build and works well keeps the rain out of the mineral and yet still allows the animals to have free choice to it so a type of mineral feeder that works well in an enclosed area in a barn where it can stay dry is to have a pvc pipe with a lip on the bottom of it that can hold the, the mineral, cut a little slot in the front for the mineral to go through. And all you do is just fill it up. You can see it coming out the bottom there. And it gra it's gravity fed and uh, And they like it pretty well. Like I said, this type of feeder works, mineral feeder works very well in a barn, and uh, you can put multiple of them up there. You can fill it up. Usually you can only have to fill it up once every couple of weeks or so, and uh, they can get it free choice. So these are a few ideas that I have found to be useful here when feeding free choice minerals to goats and sheep. You may have other ideas, other things that you've done that work better. I would love to know what those are. Feel free to put those in the comments below. I know our viewers would appreciate that as well. If you found this video to be helpful, give me a like, subscribe. Also, if you're in driving distance of the Northwest Alabama area and you need goats and sheep, uh, give me a call, see what I have available at the time. Thanks for watching and happy farming.